Okay, this is a theorem on the m tail of a sequence. Now, what is an m tail of a sequence? An m tail of a sequence uh, would have elements like a m 1, uh, a m plus 1, a m plus 2 and so on and so forth. So, starting off with a n where n is greater than or equal to m plus 1. That is what is called an m tail. Now, in case m is some natural number and you have a sequence of real numbers a n, then we have the fact that a n converges if and only if a n where n is greater than or equal to m plus 1 converges. What are we trying to say? We are trying to say that if you eliminate a finite number of terms from a sequence, it does not change its convergence behavior. If you take out a m, m, a m terms from a sequence, it will not change its convergence behavior. In case a n is convergent, it will still be convergent. Let us try to prove it now. Let us try to prove this theorem. Okay. So, let me just write down. Okay. So, let us just try to prove this theorem. First of all, the implication uh, from LHS to RHS. So, okay. So, the only if part. Let us try to prove the only if part. So, what we assume Assume that suppose a n where n is greater than or equal to 1 converges converges to a ok some number a. Now we will prove prove that a n where n starts from m plus 1 that also converges to A. Now, now A n converges to A. So, what is that telling us? A n is converging to A. So, there is your A. There is a neighborhood, a silent neighborhood of A where you actually have all the sequence elements A n. Okay. Where you have A n. Now, so... Let's talk about a given epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given to us. Okay. Now, as a n tends to a, that means that there exists a capital N such that a n belongs to the epsilon neighborhood. Okay. Neighborhood of a. That's what it means by definition and that too for all n greater than or equal to this capital N. Fine. Now, this capital N is also a natural number. Okay, belongs to a natural number. M plus 1 is also a natural number. What we can do is we can just take k as the max of these two numbers okay if k is the max of these two number then also your a n the sequence a n will belong to the neighborhood epsilon neighborhood of a epsilon neighborhood of a okay and this is neighborhood again i'm writing that everywhere because my notations are coinciding with each other. Now, this will happen for, this will happen for all n greater than or equal to k this time. Because I have taken, you know, k as the maximum of these two numbers. So, this will hold true, in fact, for all natural numbers greater than or equal to the max also. So, the terms, that means the terms... Of the sequence of the sequence a n where n is greater than or equal to m plus 1 starting from 
the rank, which rank? The maximum one. So K belong to this upsilon neighborhood of A. Belong to the neighborhood of A. So that means for all upsilon there exists a K such that, such that all terms of a n where n is greater than or equal to n plus 1 belongs to the neighborhood of A, epsilon neighborhood of A, okay. For all n greater than or equal to this max k, okay. For all n greater than or equal to the max k. So, which actually means that by definition, this means that a n where n is greater than or equal to n plus 1 also tends to a because all the elements of this sequence are in the neighborhood of a. So, that's the one way implication. Now, let's do the if part. Now, let's do the if part. So, we assume, assume that a n sequence where it starts with m plus 1, it converges to a. Assume it converges to a. Now, we need to prove that a n where n starts with 1 also converges to a. Okay. So, we will again look at the neighborhood of A. So, let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Now, as, as A n, n greater than or equal to m plus 1 tends to A, what do we know? We know that there exists a capital N greater than or equal to m plus 1 such that a n belongs to the neighborhood, epsilon neighborhood of a for all n greater than or equal to n, okay. But this actually means, this actually means that for any given epsilon greater than 0, there exists an n such that a n belongs to the neighborhood, epsilon neighborhood of A for all n greater than or equal to this capital N, which is the same as the definition of a n converging to a. So, this means that A n does converge to A and we have proved it both the ways.